Hello, everyone. I have had enough of some smaller builds and the solution to that is a larger mansion build. So, I decided to build a mansion for a game I'm playing. So, here's the deal. <laughs> because it just jumped to, you know, me having the bottom done. I did these stairs up front. And I've done these before in other builds. They've worked perfectly fine. However, when I playtested them this time, they didn't work. I couldn't get it to work. So I cut out me actually putting them in to save time on this hour-long video. And I end up putting in regular stairs eventually. So that is why that jump. And I, I had stair issues. Like these stairs right here, I probably had to replace those like eight times. So yeah. So anyway, I decided to do a big build, at least house build. Uh, this does use multiple packs. I didn't limit myself. At least I don't think I did. I don't think I limited myself to any specific packs. No, I did not because I did like some other thing, like game room and you know, all this stuff. So this is a very luxurious home build. And I just, I wanted something big. <laughs> that's, that's the way to explain it. I did build this in Oasis Springs lot. So I know the lighting isn't the greatest, but this is the lot I actually wanted to put it on. So I wanted it to actually build it on this lot. That being said, I did kind of giggle when I realized that my trailer park was across the street instead of the land grab. So that, that kind of amused me a little bit. Now... Going into this, I really didn't have a huge plan. It was big house, lots of bedrooms, lots of rooms, you know. Luxury, but not, like, crazy. I mean, I want to say this thing is, like, 250,000 simoleons or something, so it might be more. But I did. I wanted, like, a luxury home. For the gameplay I'm doing, I'm doing cheats, and so money isn't a big thing. It's just something I'm kind of playing with, um, popped into my head. Not really anything too major, but just some fun why I finish building the world for the legacy game I'm going to work on. And, yeah, and... Sorry, guys, this legacy file that I'm doing is, is all for me. I'm still debating if I'm going to try to do gameplay or not. I have some other things in the works for myself, so I might not be doing that. But it's still a thought. If I do, I may take a break from doing builds, so... Be prepared for that. I I just don't know if I'm going to have time. If you've watched a couple of my other videos, I think in the last month or so, I probably mentioned that I am uh, going to be starting a history YouTube channel. So that is, that's something I've been wanting to do for a while. Uh, for those of you who probably haven't seen my older videos, or maybe you haven't read the descriptions, or you're new here, welcome, by the way. Um, I originally started this channel to honor my sister, who passed away from cancer. And she had wanted to start a gaming channel, and was not able to. So, I decided to start one after she passed, and... I, I started doing, like, Animal Crossing videos, and eventually it just, 
it was it, I just couldn't keep doing those. I was having computer issues, weird things going on. Uh, so I moved on to doing Sims builds. I did do a couple gameplay videos, but those, again, I had so many problems with my computer at the time that I stopped doing those as well, which is why I am open to doing it again. It might be something I'll look at maybe over the summer doing gameplay videos but we'll see. I mean, it'll definitely be a relaxed vibe. I'm not somebody who gets crazy over, like, hardly anything. So, yeah, I don't know how entertaining I'd be, but hopefully The Sims will be entertaining for me, okay? Uh, but, like I said, it's something I'm thinking about. All right, so anyway... Kind of talking over this build because you can see what I'm doing. I just putting rooms in still. Uh, as I said, big build um, and just kind of planning out what I, you know, the rooms I wanted to put in, the sizes of these rooms. I did have a slight idea of what what I wanted to put in each of these rooms and. I, you know, planned accordingly. Now, I'm going to start by saying this front area here. What I wanted this to kind of look like was that maybe it was a garage that they turned into a, you know, room. Because we don't have garages in The Sims and, you know, usable cars. So, I thought about making it a garage and putting, you know, cars in there. But, like, waste of space. So... I put a game room in here instead. Thought about putting in a bowling alley, but that was after I'd already planned out the rooms. And I went, no, there's no room for that. I mean, if I tore down some walls, maybe. But you can see I kind of jump around a little bit. Mostly because I just wanted to make sure that certain things would fit and work in there before decorating everything up. So, this is the game room, and it changes a little bit. Um, as you can see, you take out that big game con or thing and put in a console. I, I thought about keeping it because it looked kind of cool, but at the same time, I thought this would work better, especially if you're, you know, looking at a house full of Sims. Oh, lots of TVs in this house. That, that's how I'm going to put this. You'll see what I mean toward the end. But the game room down there, down in the basement, is kind of like your more adult game room. Uh, that's how I kind of picture that being used. You know, that's kind of the game room for the adults. The kids can go in there. Um, but it, it's not, you know, kid oriented. Okay. And then next door to the game room is the gym slash sauna area. And here I put in uh, a couple of exercise equipments, like two of, you know, the weights, two of the... Oh, I just blanked on what those are called all of a sudden. Treadmills. <laughs> um, I didn't do two punching bags. I only put one in. And a basketball hoop. Um, I have play tested this. It all works. So that's fun. Oh, and I did put in yoga mats. So, you know, kind of a, a mix of things. You know, put in what you like if you don't like what I put in there. So the other thing with this is I thought it was kind of cool to have the pool be see-through. And... You would see, you know, swimmers from the gym area. I just thought it was kind of fun. And something I could see in, you know, a mansion. So that's what I did. All right. And then bathroom-wise, basic bathrooms. I was originally going to go through and delete a lot of the footage of me building the bathrooms. I did a couple. But... 
I decided, you know what, they really don't take up that much time for me to go through and try to hunt them down in an hour-long video. <laughs> so, so you still get some of it, but you'll notice some of them I do skip. They're just not in here. So again, put in a sauna, because every mansion has to have a sauna, right? So, yeah. So the other thing is down here, I kind of pictured these two rooms as guest rooms. So they have their own bathroom. You could use them and rent them out if you wanted to using either the, you know, four rent pack or make them roommates and assign them to that, you know, these, these beds. However you'd want to do that if that's something you want to do. Like I said, in my mind, they're really like guest rooms. Though later on in the build, I decide that one of them could belong to a butler if you have, you know, that pack. So, do not be surprised when I rearrange a kitchen later. That's all I'm saying. Okay, so you'll notice too that I kind of jump around while I'm building these rooms. Sometimes it's just easier to grab things as you're right there with them. So like, you know, grabbing the bed at the same time, all that stuff. So that's kind of why I jump around. Plus I was kind of making them like mirrored of each other because as I said, my thought process during this was that they were guest rooms. So they were going to match, kind of, as you can see. there, There's differences, of course. But one, I kind of wanted to be maybe a more casual, maybe beachy type vibe, but not, like, crazy. And the other one is definitely, you know, more upscale feel to it, I guess. And I, I love how these turned out. I, I'm thinking I might actually just upload them as rooms. If that's something you guys want, let me know. They're not too cluttery, so it makes it easy to kind of throw into a build. And I, I like it, so I may upload those. Just let me know if that's something you guys want. I might do it anyway. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> All right, so... The other thing is, I'm looking at this hallway and just going, it, it's huge. It's it's just huge. So I'm like, what else would somebody who's wealthy have in their home? A meditation room. So that's what I'm putting in, is a meditation room. I think originally I was thinking this would be a cute little spot for maybe a, you know, like a casual TV viewing space. Uh, but decided pretty quick that I was going to have enough of those areas um because there is a huge landing on the top floor that had to be filled with something that's all i'm saying there all right so the other thing is this does have a lot of space like this hallway down here is huge well, i am aware i wanted to have that feeling of space but really this lot is not like a huge lot so this isn't like a monster home or anything it's I mean okay it's big <laughs> it is big I'm not saying it's not um, but it's not like a 64 by 64 lot that's filled with a house okay all right so here I'm playing around with the kitchen and I do use the home chef hustle pack because this is a modern build I tried to make it modern and homey however i am gonna say i realized probably as i'm getting the this first floor done that i went a little crazy with the black and white thing so i do go back and redo a few things i think i have some of that on camera i'm not sure how much but i think i have some of it so here I'm just putting in this kitchen and trying to make it look good, figuring things out. And I love this kitchen. I think it looks really cool. And 
right about now, though, I start looking and thinking, there's a lot of room here. There's a whole lot of room here. <laughs> but I'm like, you know what, let's go with it. I'll keep playing around. Let's see what I can do with this. And, you know, play with, you know, the wall a little bit. And like, maybe if I do that, it'll make it feel a little bit cozier. Play with the windows. Oh my gosh. I'm going to tell you guys right now, the windows. <laughs> I play with the windows so much in this build. So be prepared for them to move. All right. So right about here is where I decide, you know what? Heck with this. We're moving the kitchen. So I bring the kitchen up and decide we are going to put a butler's pantry back there. So, adding a room and putting in more cabinetry and all this fun stuff. But I thought, you know what, this is a mansion. They're going to have a hidden room for all their appliances. To an extent. I mean, you can see a stove and a sink. I didn't picture this as maybe a family that hired a bunch of, like, cooks or whatever. At least not on a regular basis. So, you know, I made it so it's still pretty usable. You don't have to go into that butler's pantry area if you don't want to. Now, that being said, one thing I do, especially when it's a build that looks like this, where you've got a room that has cabinetry, I did put flipper cabinets in, that's, you know, kind of against a wall. You know, you've got this mirrored look of cabinets on each side of the wall. I will go through and actually put in a half wall. So in this build, and you'll see me do it here in a few minutes, or even a few seconds, I believe, because I think this is when I realized that was going to be really annoying. Put in a half wall. And I just do the tallest one it'll let me. And that keeps it up that way. So when you're playing in this build with a, you know, the walls, you know, not down, but, you know, the kind of see-through walls, you'll get this view. So that's kind of what you'll see. If you don't like that, and you want the walls down, just go ahead and make them full walls again. It's not a big, not a big change needed. So, one thing that I do, I do wish I had done a little bit differently in this house was make the upstairs a little bit or this level a little bit smaller and you'll get what I mean as I go through the build and you see it in the end there is a lot of space between this kitchen dining area and the living room but you know again it's it's a mansion I can get away with it right it's okay <laughs> All right. The other thing I do is change things around a little bit. I mean, you saw it with the kitchen. Added this nice little bar space because I realized I didn't get a bar in there yet. I did debate about putting it between the living room and the kitchen, but I just didn't like how it looked. I did try it. I just cut that part out and just kind of, you know, thought it would work well there. I mean, they don't need to sit at the bar. There's this huge, you know, island that they can sit at. So, the other thing that I noticed with this is it looks very similar to some of the other modern builds I've done, including my, you know, pizza restaurant build, as I like to refer to it. I really wish that we had... I don't know, some more options that looked more modern when it came, comes to the Sims stuff. And maybe I just need to, like, you know, go look at more pictures or something. But it seems like every modern home has this look, maybe with some stone added to it. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to work on that. Because even though I don't mind the look and when you're looking at a modern home... I'd really like to, I don't know, do a little more with it. And I've done some builds with 
the Growing Together pack that are more modern, but, you know, more family oriented, I guess. I mean, I kind of pictured, you know, there's family in here, so I don't know if that's what I really mean by that statement. But I guess this one is more of a wealthier family, where the other bills were more of your middle class family. <laughs> so I think that's it. It's like luxury wise, you're thinking they have the best of the best when it comes to a modern build. And I think right now, a lot of the modern builds that we can do in The Sims are this kind of black and white thing. But I do want to try to mix that up. So look for another build eventually down the road where I do mix that up a little bit more. I have one that isn't too bad where I did an apartment or a, yeah, an apartment. And that seemed to work out pretty well. It was more of a wood tone modern look than this black and white, but Alright, so anyway, on to this living room and what I'm doing here. I put all this wonderful shelving together and realized later on that I meant to put a fireplace in here. <laughs> so, I have not gone back and fixed that as of recording this. But if you download this and notice there's a fireplace there, I fixed it. If there's not a fireplace there, I probably decided it looked crappy and I wasn't going to put it there. And yeah, I did debate about, I'm like, that would be kind of cool to put like a fireplace between the two rooms since I keep complaining about the space, you know, between the kitchen and the living room. But then I'm like, you're not, you're not going to see it from the living room. So yeah, I, I I'm not going to do that. But I might put it in well, under this, you know, humongous TV I, I have on the wall. Um, but really, it's because the TV. I'm not sure how I'd like that. With the options we have in the game, there's a couple of cool CC ones that I would add in there. And might do in my own personal game. But not in this build. Still haven't figured out what build I want to do for a CC build. If you guys have suggestions as to lot types, that's really what I'm struggling with. I don't know if I want to do a residential or a different lot type. But if there is a lot type you'd like to see built with custom content, let me know in the comments below because I'm stumped. At this point... I'm still thinking I want to do this maybe once a month, but I'll probably start with the residential and see where, you know, the winds take me, I guess. So, all right. So over here, I just, I was like, something has got to go in this space. It's, it's just empty. So I'm like plants, plants have to go over here. I decided the shelf. I think I pulled it out with the intent of putting it on the other wall, but I ended up with my mouse over the window and I'm like, that looks kind of cool. So <laughs> that is where it stayed. And then here with these plants, I was trying to kind of hurry up and get this corner done and it didn't work because I decided to use the stand and then I had to find plants that would fit on it without a whole bunch of things because I don't know I was just not in the mood to deal with cheats at this point I don't I don't know what was going on here I will say this build oh, this build it took me a long time to do and originally when I was thinking about how I was going to record this I was going to kind of fill you in on how long this build took me before now. But I sat down on a Saturday morning, probably about 6 a.m., and I worked on getting the shell done on this build and pretty much 
everything on here up until I started the kitchen was done on Saturday. And I want to say I worked on all of that for about six or seven hours. This whole thing took me about a week working on it anywhere from two to four hours a day, except for that, you know, seven hour time frame. And mostly I want to share that with you guys, not to be like, you know, look what I can do and how much time I put into this. That's it's more for those of you who are aspiring builders who look at this and go, well, they did this so quickly. I didn't. It took a long time. And I actually could have taken more time and done a little more detail on things, but I didn't. So if you're looking at this going, you know, well, you know, it didn't take her that long. Look at how quickly she does this. There's a lot that's edited out. Um, a lot of things I've changed and it's sped up. <laughs> so keep that in mind if you're, you know, if you get frustrated that your builds are taking four or five hours and you're still not done, keep going. Okay. Cause they take a long time and the good ones can take a really long time, especially if they're bigger. Now, I will say, I sat down yesterday morning because I do a lot of my building. I get up, sit down at the computer, and do my builds before I go to work. And I got, I did a cafe build. So, you know, spoiler alert there, that's coming out next week. But I did a cafe and I had almost all of it done in three hours. I had a little bit of landscaping to do at the end. And that took me another 45 minutes or so. I mean, it, I, I think I changed a couple little things in the cafe itself. But if you're somebody who has started building and you're getting frustrated and thinking it should only take you a couple of hours, don't get frustrated. Um, the good ones take a while, especially if you're trying to actually build these to be played in. Um, because that can be harder. You've, you've got to really think about where do the Sims go? What do they do? Um, how do they move around the space? And for me, that's something like I was taught in school um, as an interior design student. So it it is something that I think about in general because I, I've also worked as a custom home designer. So, you know, mentally I sit down to do builds like this and how are they going to be used? <laughs> Sometimes I make these a little too realistic in my mind and have to remind myself that this is a build for the Sims, not for real life. With that being said, you know, if it takes you a week or even two weeks to do a build, you know, that that's normal if you're doing large builds, especially. So, all right. So here I did want to kind of point out what I was doing here. I did it before you could see the artwork that was already there. I absolutely love going into the gallery to download artwork because it's not CC. So this is something that anybody can download, including console players. So that is something I'm trying to do more of. With what you saw, the wall that I put in for the artwork, I'm actually going to, or I actually downloaded it to my library. I really like that one. I believe one of the paintings might have English words in it. If that bothers you, delete it. But I thought it looked kind of cool there. I think it's here in this office that it's in. But but yeah, that's definitely a way to bring in more stuff to your gameplay. And I've talked about this before. And it's something I want to do more of, especially with my bigger builds. Trailer Parks, this one. Because you just kind of run out of artwork or you find you're using the same ones over and over again. And it's just annoying. So, yeah. But, yeah. Also, I do want to point out, you can see that I put in uh, more color. 
switch things around a little bit. So there's a little more color in the build, but still has a modern vibe to it. I also kind of play around quite a bit outside here. And I start putting things in and I knew this area I wanted to have the grill, a table, um, and then the lounge chairs along the pool, but I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to do with the hot tub. So that's why it just kind of sits there. And you can see I'm playing like, I gotta put something in here. So I put a bench and I'm just like, no, I, I don't know what to do. So I jump up to the next floor and save that for later. So here, I knew I wanted to put like a, you know, family movie watching space. Not sure how I wanted to do it. And then all of a sudden, this fun idea popped into my head. And I decided I was going to create this cute little, like, walled-off sitting area. And it just kind of went from there. <laughs> I, I, I had no idea what I was going to do with this space. And it just all of a sudden hit me, and I went with it, and just did what I felt. And... It's one of my favorite spots in this whole house. If I could have a room like this, I would love it. Um, though, I don't know, as a single person without kids, it's probably overkill. But, <laughs> but you know, whatever. We can dream, right? So, you know, created the walls, put in these kind of built-in sofas from the book nook kit. And just created, I think, this cozy, you know, relaxing area. I did not put a monster TV in here. It's one of the, sm not small ones, but, you know, one of the small wall hanging ones. But just to, you know, create a nice little kind of family gathering space. Or, you know, space for the kids is kind of what I was thinking. They can come up here and chill out. So, right about here, I'm sitting here going, okay, I do want to put a few things here. I do want to do a few more things up here. What do I want to do? And you can see me looking around. So, I decide to move this whole thing. So, walled it up, made it a room so I could move it. And decided I was going to put some cabinets in with some seating. And... Kind of make it so it, it's definitely an entertainment space. So I thought that was just kind of fun. Put in some bar stools here and then, you know, replace these windows. And I put in a couple of cabinets and a little fridge here so that, you know, we'll give the idea of it being, you know, a little popcorn station. I do realize I put the ice cream maker in there and I went, wait a minute, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> so replace that with the popcorn machine. And I think it turned out really cute. There's not a whole lot to it, but I like it. So here is, I decided to do this as a playroom. It is right up against the master, but it's the Sims. I can get away with that. It's fine. So here I just kind of am throwing things in here right now. Um, not exactly 100% sure where they're going to sit. But believe it or not, they pretty much stay where I put them. I was kind of surprised that it worked out that way. But in general, it, it really is just like the, a lot of the game stuff was is in the basement. And this is more for like, you know kid st specific stuff so that is what this room is and as they age up you can put other things in here and you know whatever you want to do I absolutely love how this rug turned out it kind of looks like it's pathing to you know a couple of different things <laughs> not quite but close and then here I just, you know, kind of cluttering it up with some artwork and things. And I 
I need to use these, this artwork, these little square ones more often. I keep forgetting about them and I love them. I've used them a few times in this build already and they just, they're so different. Like you can do so many different things with those. I need to remember they exist. <laughs> I mean, I know they exist, but half the time I look at them and I don't realize that's what I was looking for. So it's mentally reminding myself what they look like in our, you know, little preview pane there. Uh, so that I can be like, yes, that's the one I need and I need to change it to something else. It's the only downside to how they have this set up. There's like so much artwork and rugs that are really cool. You just got to like take the time to go through it all. And that's part of what takes forever when you're doing a build is you just have to take the time to go through everything. So I did decide to include this bathroom. I honestly, I think the only one I didn't include was I don't think I did the ones in the guest room area. And I didn't include the kids' bathrooms up here. But this one I wanted to include because it's the master. And, you know, we're in a mansion. It's not like it's a simple build. And this one wasn't. I played with this. Um, I think this alone took me an hour to figure out what I wanted to do with it. But I like it. It turned out pretty cool. I am thinking the floor... I want to go in and change in the shower so it's different than the rest of the floor. Just, I don't know, to break it up a little bit. So didn't do that in the video. Another thing I'm going to go in and do before upload, hopefully. If not, it's still going to be black. So that tells you how much time I had between now and uh, Thursday night, Friday morning when I upload this. I am trying to put these up either the night before or the morning of these videos going live. If you ever get on the gallery and you see that these aren't uploaded, let me know in the comments below or, or you know, comment on one of my other builds. Though I don't check check that as often as I do the YouTube channel. You know, let me know because I will get that up as soon as possible. I do work from home. So I'm able to kind of, you know, jump on real quick and and do that luckily it's not like it's anything that's going to take away from my work i have programs that take a few minutes to load and and refresh and things like that so i have a couple of minutes i can take to to do that if not it's you know i do it on my lunch not a big deal so here with the bedrooms again flipping back and forth i really like this dresser bookshelf combo I did in both these rooms I don't know why I just liked how it looked I need to use the kids room I think it's a stuff pack so much more than I do um they just have some fun little swatches uh like the you know the dresser here that you can have pictures put in things like that I I keep forgetting they have those. Uh, so something, another goal. You'll probably see those in a lot of builds for a little while. Um, I do, do struggle a bit with trying to figure out how I wanted to do this. Because I wanted to make it easy for you to update this into a like teen room. Without having to delete all of the furniture and redo it if you didn't want to. And I guess in my mind it was more maybe you'll update it into a double bed or queen bed, however you want to look at that. Uh, so I wanted to make that part easy. But in general, there's still going to be some decor you might want to get rid of once they age up into teenagers. But that's why I try not to clutter too much. And these are rooms I think also I may go ahead and upload to the gallery as well what I'm going to try to do if I am uploading them just to be rooms and not to necessarily fill a space in one of my builds is take out like the windows and the doors so that way you guys can kind of put the doors and things where you need them 
but I know some of these I do upload as rooms that you can put into my builds and those I keep the windows in, but just a heads up on that. That's my thought process. I probably am overthinking it as normal. Whatever, I like to be helpful, okay? All right, so now here, just kind of putting in some decor, mirrors, you know, general stuff, filling the space up a little bit. And I decided I was going to go ahead and try to do some wallpaper. Just, I didn't want to do the walls like the TV was on because, you know, I put wall decals on there. But you can see that for some reason, the build decided that a whole bunch of different walls were connected to that room, so I had to go fix that. Hopefully I got it all. It took me a little while to realize that the outside of the building now had the wallpaper that was in the boys' room. Like, I think I finished the video with the wallpaper on the outside. So if you notice that, you have a better eye than I do, because it took me a little bit. All right, so I mean, see, I'm kind of sitting here going, okay, what else can I do with these rooms? So I put in the gaming consoles, or at least in this, the, the boys' room. I'm going to call it the boys' room. It works for either or. He's a gamer where, you know, this girl here is not so much a gamer, but, you know, a little more girly. I can't, I think I kind of pictured her as more of like an artist. The creative table in the playroom is her, you know, her domain. I thought about putting it in the bedroom, but I didn't want to do that. So, so it sits in the, in the playroom instead. So here you can see, I'm still like going back and forth with what the heck to do with these rooms. So got into the, you know, the kids stuff again and went, oh my gosh, what, what are we doing with these and where did they come from and why didn't I remember these or know about them or something? So I got really excited about these little poofy pillow things that I just threw in. I do want to say I play tested this. So yes, you can walk around those. They work well. Um, no, I just had an adult sim play test this. So I, I, I didn't play it with kids, so yeah, but it should all work. Not too worried, because y you can get around everything. Everything is usable. Nothing was, you know, kid-specific, so at least not, you know, in these bedrooms. The playroom, yes, but there's plenty of space. Um, the benefit of being a builder and player for so long... <laughs> so long. I played The Sims since it first came out, as in, you know, The Sims. In fact, I played Sim City before The Sims came out, so yeah, been involved with them for a long time. All right, so here, kind of trying to figure out something to put in this hallway. Not thrilled with it, but it is what it is, and it kind of works. So, yeah. So moving on to this monster of a master bedroom. And I'm, I'm, I'm struggling a little bit trying to figure out what I wanted to do. But about here is when I say, you know what? It's a mansion. They have lots of money. They should have a walk-in closet. So that's what I put in there. And their little seating area. And right here is about the time I remembered, shoot, I was going to put a fireplace downstairs <laughs> when I put this one in. So as of right now in this build, the master bedroom has two fireplaces involved with it. This one here, and then I put one outside. Wow. And that's it. No place else has a fireplace. <laughs> that's what I said. I might go back. I debated about putting one in the office. I might do that too. And so if you notice, there's some additional fireplaces. I went back in. I'll be honest, I might not have time to do it. Uh, trying to get a few other builds done. Um, just a heads up for those who are planning on watching more of my videos. 
I am moving in May, so I'm trying to get a few extras, like short, there'll be shorter videos, they won't be hour long videos done. But if I can't, we may drop down to one video a week. Just for, you know, a few weeks. But I will let you know if I need to do that. Alright, so here I really wanted, again, that luxurious, kind of modern feel, but, you know, still cozy and inviting. So, I needed color on that bed. I, we need, we need more beds, like more options for beds, okay? Can we do a bed pack that we can switch out mattresses and comforters and all that stuff, please? All right. I know. Wishful thinking, right? I know. CC. That's that's the way to go if you're on a computer. I just, you know, I feel for the console players that can't do that. So. All right. So you're just kind of adding in, you know, a couple little seating areas. Well, okay. A seating area over there in the corner. And then using these shelves here. I think I ended up, yeah, using the high school years floating shelves just because I wanted, you know, that look. And then decided to do the blue curtains. Blue was my accent color now after using the wallpaper. Um, at first I was kind of like, oh shoot, do I want to use this wallpaper? And then I remembered I put one of the light fixtures from the, oh, I can't, luxury pack. I just blanked on the name of it. So I was like, oh, well, we'll use all that. So here I decided to get rid of that artwork I threw up there and put in movie posters and then moving to the out de outside deck area here. Again, this was kind of like the kids floor to an extent. The master bedroom is there, you know, the parents oasis up here, but the rest of it belongs to the kids. So we have hopscotch up here. You know, that type of thing. So, I thought it was kind of cool. The, the parents, the adults, get the downstairs area, right? So you can see, too, this is, it became dark. I was playing around with some lighting. And I ended up changing all of that, too. It, I just went through and just went lighting everywhere. And you'll see that later. So here, just I decided I wanted the hot tub on a platform, and I wasn't sure exactly how I wanted to do that platform. So playing around with it a little bit, along with the flooring. And I am gonna say this area is probably my second, very close second favorite area. And again, I did play test this. This all works really well. But I I love what I did there. So, but you can see, I'm not done with that yet. There's more to come. But I jumped up because, again, one of those where I'm like, I'm not, I'm not sure what I want to do with this. And this is such a big build that I did jump around quite a bit. I tried to at least stick to getting each floor done. I mean, this area was a little off. But... Yeah, I I tried to at least get each floor done as I went up to it, for the most part. I do want to say that a water slide thing out there doesn't stay. I put that out way at the beginning of this build, and I take it out once I get down to that point. <laughs> but it was there more to remind me that if I wanted to use it, it was there and existed. <laughs> so... I got that little area off the um, master bedroom done, and now I'm playing with some seating here because I'm like, something has to go in this section. It just, it didn't look right. So playing around with this, trying to figure out how I wanted this to work. And this is about the time I'm like, something's got to be different. Something, something else has got to, it's just not, it doesn't look right. So I extend this little patio area out and... That that did it. That was enough for me. That separated everything really nicely um, and just created a cool look. I also was like, okay, 
So what else am I going to do to kind of fancy this up? So I grabbed these uh, hanging lights from high school years. And I love this hot tub. Love this hot tub so much. And yeah, all workable, play tested it. You can get in and out of it. No issue. So that might be something else I'm going to upload as like a room. Because I'll probably use it again. And if I don't save it to my library, I will forget about it at some point and get mad at myself. I will upload that to gallery though too. So as just a room, that way you can put it wherever you want in whatever build you want and you don't have to mess with it. It really wasn't hard to do. So if you don't want to, you know, if you want to do something different, a little bit different with it, you know, it wasn't hard to do, but I'll upload that as a room. All right, so here just kind of figuring out outside, and I knew I was going to struggle with what the heck to do with this outside area. That being said, I do figure it out, and I love it. And I hope I do. I mean, I do have a few builds where I'm just kind of like not thrilled with it, but I do really like how the outside of this turned out up front. And of course, I don't know what happened. I had done this earlier in the build where I just went through and kind of, you know, made everything green. But I don't know what happened there. And you can see, again, I started the front, moved to the back because I just wasn't exactly sure what else I wanted to do with it. And jump back here. So here, you can also see I decided, all right, I'm going to do something over here and I decided to do a covered kind of garden area it's not real big it just has a couple of planters in it but the idea came from me putting those wall planters in and I just was like no you know what I want them to have a covered area so that you know seasons doesn't interfere if you want seasons so created that I really like it because it's not, you know, an enclosed area. You can kind of walk down the stairs and look over the balcony and see all the plants. And yeah, I, I think it's kind of cool. So here, you know, you can see too that I'm, I put in some stuff for the kids. That ship does not stay. I decided to fence in the lot eventually. And so I had to remove the ship. Now, one thing I do want to state after saying that is I, for playtesting, I put this onto a different lot and I, it was a bigger one in Dull Soul Valley and it looks really cool there. <laughs> so it's up in the hills. And it, it is a bigger lot. So if you wanted to put this on that lot, oh, there's so much more room for, like, you know, children's stuff if you wanted to do that. So I would recommend maybe moving the house back on the lot a little bit more and just extending the front walkways. But like I said, it works here too. I didn't, I wanted to use this lot for this for the gameplay I'm planning, so I built it here. So here I decided I wanted this fountain and I wanted something to go here. I, it's just a blank area. It was a weird area. But after playing around with things, I am so happy with how it turned out. It, it just, I don't know, it, lo it looks good to me and I, I really like it. So, did have to play around with some of this quite a bit to get it to work right. But, yeah, in the end, it all came together pretty dang well. And I think it's cute. I think it definitely fits the wealthy mansion vibes I was going for. Um, you can also see all the lights I added. Those tiny little squares are lights. I believe they're from the Spa Day Pack. 
And that's kind of what I did. I just, I liked how they looked and they kind of blend in with the, the wall color. So you kind of notice them, but they're not too bad. And I thought, you know, they worked well there. So we're, I, they're all over. They're all over this belt. <laughs> I might have gone a little crazy. Sorry. Not sorry. Because they look cool at night. So. All right. So here I just kind of wanted to create, you know, more planned out looking gardens, for lack of a better word. Um, I am not very good at these that are contained. I like doing the more wild looking garden areas but um but these worked out pretty good now I do want to say I probably would have used like debug items I did not want to have to figure them all out when I was working on this was when we were having all of the issues with the updates and I know some people still are so I didn't have any mods installed as I was doing this. I don't even think I put Better Build Buy in. I did eventually put it back in and then slowly added more of my mods. I haven't had any problems really. I've had a couple of issues with my game crashing, but that's been after I've added mods in. So yeah. All right. So here I decided to just put in these cool little glass panels from Island Living to create this covered space. And I, I just think it fits the build so well. I definitely am going to be doing more of that type of thing in the modern builds. I'll, I'll do from now on. I, and not all of them, of course, but a few of them. So here, just kind of trying to add in a few lights. Not too crazy. You know, it's a backyard. But and mostly your your decking area, this you know where the pool is and all that is is the hangout for you know at night if you're out there at least in my opinion. So, all right, so we are coming up to the end of this build. I really hope you enjoyed watching me do this, and you know if you made it this far, thank you. I do appreciate you watching this. All right, so I'm going to let you guys check out all the fun images of the outside and the inside, and I will be back when those are done. Again, that you enjoyed this build. I did have so much fun building this, even though it ever. Uh, but if you play in it, let me know how you like it in the comments below. What was your favorite part of this build? I'd really like to know because, you know, maybe I'll do more of it in future builds. All right. I do hope you guys have a great day and I will see you next time. Bye now.